Hey guys, so this is my first video. Um, I hope you're as anxious as I am. So, um, this is my fall favorites video. I'm going to be including everything like fashion, even products, nail polishes, um, makeup, <laughs> just like a little bit of everything. So I hope you enjoy this video. You get something out of it. Try different things, guys. You know, don't stay stuck with like one kind of type of style because I've really been trying to get into dark lips looks and I've been really digging it lately, especially on my Instagram. You, you can see that I recently posted... Well, not recently, but I posted um, a picture wearing like a dark kind of purpley lipstick, and it's uh, I like it. I'm really enjoying this. So, yeah, like, comment, 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 subscribe in the end, and tell me what you think. Um, so yeah. All right, keep watching. Hey guys, so right now you are on top of my makeup vanity. It's not too much right now because I just kind of recently got this, but I am going to start, you know, decorating it better and stuff. So for right now, I'm going to show you all my fall lipsticks. So I'm going to get that out right now and you guys can kind of see. So, and I'll do swatches like right here on my arm. Well, let's do it right here better. So I'm going to do swatches here and so you guys can see the color and everything. And so... First, let's start off with kind of the drugstore products. Um, I got this um, Revlon lipstick. And this is in the color Candy Apple. It's a really nice creamy sheer red. I've been really loving this. Um, it is almost kind of like a bright reddish color. But it is really nice and it applies really nicely. So um, just kind of twist it open. Here you go. And then I'll kind of swatch this, like, I'll put it right here. And it's really, just really great. Excuse my nails. <laughs> but it's just a really nice creamy red. Next I'm going to do the, um, I'm going to show you guys the Wet n Wild. This is Wet n Wild. This is in the color Black Orchid or Orchid. I'm not quite sure, but I will leave all the names in the description box. So let's swatch that right here. It is a nice, really dark wine, kind of plummy color. Um, I'm not that great at describing because all these colors I'm showing you kind of have like a wine, dark wine, or lighter wine kind of color. So that's what it looks like. It is really gorgeous actually for like the cost of it is like, how much are these lipsticks? Like a dollar, two dollars? So it's really nice for how much it costs. The next lipstick I'm going to show you is another one, well not from Wet n Wild, but from NYC. This one is a really nice dark kind of color. This is the color in 320 um, Mahogany. So let's swatch that one right here. This one as you can see, well in camera, well actually no, it does look good. Um, this one's a lot more darker. It's a lot more, um, has more of a plummier undertone than this one. Um, this one looks a little bit more lighter and redder, and this one's quite more darker. So, yeah. I love these colors for fall, guys. It's amazing. So, um, my other drugstore product that I'm actually wearing right now on my lips is the Revlon Color, Color Burst Matte Balm. This is the color 225 Sultry. It is so amazing, guys. Now, you can have the chappiest lips on the planet. It can be super crusty, but when you put this on, it just, like, melts into your lips, and it's just so easy to apply, and it smells really minty. I love it. So, on camera, it looks quite pink, but it actually is not. It is a really, um, nice, matte, creamy color. Um, you can see it looks a little bit, it's obviously a lot more lighter than these colors here. It looks more pinker, but it actually is kind of slightly like a burgundy kind of color. A little bit pink undertones, but it's really gorgeous. And I love wearing this almost for a natural kind of everyday basis. It's really great. So, that's mostly all my drugstore products, but I guess I can include this one for a drugstore. Um, this one is just a regular clear lip gloss that I have, that I got from Forever 21. I love it. It is does have kind of sparkles in it, and it is qu quite sticky. But I love applying a new, if I'm like wearing a matte balm and I feel like it needs to be a little bit more shimmerier or glossier, then I will just apply that. And it's just, see, it's just clear and it has like sparkles in it. Um, yeah, but you can't really see. I don't think you can... But yeah. So now let's move on to the Sephora lipsticks. 
this is more of the um like what they sell in Sephora. So I guess I'll show you the little baby one. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys probably have seen this. This comes with the when you go to Sephora and it's your birthday, they give you this. This is the Makeup Forever lipstick. Um, I think this is in the color Rouge Artist Natural. So it looks like that. I got a little messed up. But it looks like this. It's so freaking gorgeous. I love it. And I really think I might go and actually buy the um, actual size one. Because it's so beautiful. And I... Ah! Sorry. It's... It's just so beautiful, and I just love wearing it. So, um, if you kind of look more up close now, it's more, it's, um, like a natural lip tone. This is exactly what it is. So, if you're someone who doesn't really wear too much makeup and you want something a little more simple, I would definitely go with a really light kind of flesh tone color. This is what it's like. Well, usually when people say flesh tone, you kind of think, you know, all like kind of a naked color, neutral, just really, you know, just like that. Um, but this one, it literally just, well, for my color, this is almost similar to my natural lip color. Honestly, it is. So, I love wearing this when I want something really to make my lips kind of stand out, but it's still not too much. And this color really is awesome for that. So, yeah. I'm sorry, my camera's been kind of crappy when focusing. Alright. Next one is a little, little Urban Decay lip gloss that comes in the Naked 2 kit. I really love it. It really does plump your lips up and everything. So, I mean, it's just really great. I really like using it. Uh, I'm not really sure this has a color or anything, but it just comes in it, and it's just kind of a really nice, glossy red tone. And I'll put that, like, right here so you guys can see. See, it's a little bit more red. The next thing I'm going to show you are my now Sephora lipsticks. Um, let's start with the brightest color. So this one is a, a really, really red lipstick from Sephora. This is in the color Sephora Rouge. So this is basically their reddest color. It looks slightly more pink on camera, but it's really, really a bright red. So let's just swatch that over here. As you can see, that's like the brightest color almost out of all of them. This looks pink purple on camera, but I'm telling you, it's a really, really deep, bright red. So, and it's really just awesome. Um, it's great. So yeah, there you go. That's the four rouge. The next one is my all-time favorite, and I know you guys have been crazy thinking, I don't know, well, this kind of been like a social frenzy thing going on, on the internet, was, what is the Kylie Jenner look, right? So I kind of found this lipstick, and this actually looks really similar to her lipstick color, because hers is more like a neutral, and it has kind of pink or reddish undertones to her lips. It's not completely just matte or nude. So this is the color from Sephora called Igneous or Ingenious. I'm not quite sure, but like I said, I'll leave that in the description. So it's a really beautiful color and if I feel like my lips like whatever I'm wearing I don't have a lipstick for that I go straight to this one because it matches with everything So let's just do a swatch I'm not sure if you'll quite notice it But like I said on camera, it's just quite different, but if you look really closely um, It looks like a nude kind of color, but it really does have Beautiful kind of a pink undertone and it's just so freaking gorgeous guys like I love it. I love it. Just trust me on this, alright? When you get it, you won't regret it. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> alright, the next color is one of my other... I've been really digging... Um, I keep saying digging, like, what the hell? Um, I've been really loving um, the Sephora color, the kind of cream lipsticks. This is the color Charmer. It's more um, than... Well, it's kind of slightly different from this one, because as you can see, this one is a little more neuter, a little darker, and this one is slightly more... It looks it has more red undertones, but it's still a nude color. So let's swatch that. Now, as you can see, they're really beautiful to put on. Very nice and pigmented. All these lipsticks are very pigmented. Um, so this one has more. Uh, it's more pinker, but it's still a nude color. So I would definitely put this in the nudes, but it's just a lot more kind of neutral, a neutral pink. It's really gorgeous though. And like I said, these are very creamy lipsticks, so they apply beautifully. So the next one is a Sephora lip gloss in the color um, Perfect Nude. It's just a very nice nude lip gloss. Sometimes when I wear um, the nude MAC lipsticks, they look too pale on my lips. So to add a little bit of color and more shimmer and glossiness, I like to just put this on top. So it's just a really um, nude color, nothing just too fancy. Um, that's it. it. You can't even see it because it's just nude. The lip glosses, you can't quite see that well on camera. Okay, so let's move on to the MAC lipsticks. 
this lipstick I just recently bought. This is MAC Media. Um, I don't think that you can really see it that well on camera. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. But don't worry, I will swatch that for you. Okay, we're running out of room. Now, this one is so freaking gorgeous. Um, MAC Media, this one is way more, well, it's actually a lot lighter than this one. I believe this is the NYC one, right? Um, this one, it looks kind of red on camera, but it's, it is more plummier. It's way more plummier than any of these. It has more of a plummier, kind of deep, dark undertone. Um, it's not as burgundy, it's more plum color. So, but it's really gorgeous, and I love using it. I used it, I believe, for school, like, once. This one, um, this is the one I actually had on Instagram. I had, I think, I had, like, a white crop top, and then, like, a sweater kind of crop top thing. So this is the color Smoked Purple. Um, the lady that worked there, she told me it was kind of a duplicate for, I believe, the color Instigator. Because I, I don't think they, I think they discontinued that one. So... So this one is um quite this one is actually really matte like it's seriously matte um you can't really if I there we go all right so th this one is a really dark dark purple it's so it's not really like that purple almost has like a little bit of black not like too black but it just looks exactly like what the name says like a smoked purple that's exactly what it is honestly it looks right on camera but it's a nice deep dark color. The next color is Myth, a nude color, right? You guys like nudes? Because I definitely love nudes, but I don't really have much to them. Then there, this is Myth. Hopefully you can see it on camera, but it's just so nude, like it's ridiculous. This definitely has pink undertones to it, so um, you can't really notice it that well. Yeah, you can't really see it because it's a nude color, so it's just so light. But um, it definitely is a really nice creamy color. It's not super matte. It has a little bit of cream in it, a little of gloss. It's just really beautiful. And it definitely, you can definitely see that it looks um, a lot pink. It's not just super, super nude. It has um, a hit in pink of it, and it just, it's really gorgeous. And then finally, the last matte color is Rebel, the famous Rebel. If you guys have, oh, look, I'm almost done with it because I just use it so much. So this is Rebel. Ta da Look at it. Wow, it almost looks, well, on camera it looks like it's this one, but it's, they're not. So this one is a way kind of, almost like a hot pink, purplish, plummy color. Uh, it's not like really red. It has way more kind of pink in it, and it's way more plummier. And uh, obviously I'm going to use the word plummy for all this because that's definitely like what's in it, and this is a fall favorites. So yeah, Rebel is obviously really up there. It's a really popular color that a lot of people have been wearing. So yeah, so I hope you guys like this. This is my fall favorites lipsticks. So yeah, um, I hope you get some ideas out of this. And maybe, you know, just try and mix up your style a little bit. I know a lot of pe people feel like certain colors don't look good on the lips. Maybe it makes their lips look too big or too small. But I will be doing a separate video on that. Um, to, for people like that who don't really know what kind of lipstick they should wear. So keep in tune for that. So yeah, now let's move on to jewelry and clothing. So for fall, I really love, I still have the lipsticks on, so excuse that. So for fall, I really love gold jewelry. So if you know me, in school, I'm always constantly wearing my two gold little rings because I just love them and they're real. So I just, I love wearing gold. So I'm always wearing these gold rings. So I really think gold rings really good gold. Whoa, I think gold rings really look good in fall. I also um, have this bracelet that I bought in Forever 21. It just has diamonds on it and it's gold in the inside and slightly around it. It's really, really cute. I, I just love it. It's just a really cute um, bracelet. Yeah. Next, I've really been loving for some reason or kind of found myself buying a lot of kind of triangle, spiky kind of necklaces. So this is gold. Um, I believe I bought this in Mandy's, and it just looks like this. Um, it has, like, kind of, like, inside of the gold, it has little baby triangles, and then it's just black and gold. And I love wearing this because I do wear a lot of black and gold during um, fall. Next I have, I wear a lot of triangles. 
Um, I have a gold bangle bracelet that you kind of like a cuff bracelet that you just kind of pop on. Um, I got this. Um, geez, where did I get this from? Hmm. I don't remember, but I will leave all. Of, I will try to remember and kind of leave all of that in the description box. So it just has. It does have little baby triangles on it too. You can kind of see it a little bit. It's just a bangle bracelet, and I loved it. I wore this for my birthday actually. Next, my favorite all-time favorite thing I've been wearing, and I kind of rocked this recently on my Instagram, is this kind of bracelet. It came with a little hand, too. So it's um like a hand, like, a, yeah, it's a hand bracelet. So this right here goes, like, over your middle finger, and then it goes like that, and then you just kind of tie it over here. So it's just so gorgeous. I love this. I got this in the store, Windsor. I don't know if you guys heard of that, but... Um, in the new Co-op City Mall, they just opened over here. It, um, they have that store now. It was originally just in New Jersey, but they have it now. And then I also have this kind of gold thing you see here. is actually a headband that I rocked recently, like yesterday, on Instagram. It's really gorgeous, and I love it. Um, it looks like this. I saved the little thing so you can kind of see how this mannequin girl was rocking it. So it just kind of goes over your head there and has right in the middle of your scalp is the string. So... I also have another kind of spiky looking triangle necklace. It's all gold too. Looks like this. Um, I think I got this from Claire's. So yeah. And then lastly, I have this other spiky necklace. It's you probably see me wear this a lot. I had this for such a long time. And it's actually in really good shape. I got this in HM, so it's all gold. Um has like the kind of gold chains here and then it has a little dangly little spikes in the bottom but it's just so gorgeous and I you can kind of rock this with kind of anything I mean it is a little bit um dramatic and exaggerated so maybe you don't want to wear a lot of jewelry and you want to kind of just wear this alone because it is it does it is pretty heavy it's a heavy necklace to wear now next I'm going to kind of show you my kind of style and a little bit of clothing that I wear during fall and the colors of course so stay in tune Okay guys, so first here I have a floral dress, it's just a black dress, has floral on it, um, it has like, kind of like burgundy, light pink, and white flowers on it, it's really cute, simple, and I just really love wearing this, I believe I wore this on uh, Thanksgiving, I think so, or Christmas Eve, I, no, actually I think it was Christmas Eve, so yeah. Um, I think I got this in Forever 21, but like I said, if I, I would just leave everything in the description box if I can't really remember. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so over here I have more of a burgundy kind of sweater. You know, it's like sweater weather, so of course I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of sweaters. So um, this is just like a knitted kind of see-through sweater. It's more of a shawl because it's not really like long sleeve or anything. It's just um, a short sleeve kind of sweater, but it kind of dangles, so it does look like a shawl. Um, the only thing that sucks about it is that um, it kind of sheds a little bit, so like the burgundy kind of goes on my jeans and stuff, and it, it just got really annoying. Um, over here, I have a white, cozy, knitted, thick sweater. Um, I didn't even get this one. I believe I got most of these at Forever 21, if I'm corrected. I believe that's where I got. So it's just a really nice, long sleeve, soft, cozy sweater. I love it. Um, it goes with anything, and it's just so great and warm. Next, I even have more sweaters. So this one is kind of um, stitched inside. As you can see, it's kind of grainy, so it has a little bit of black and burgundy in it. Um, it is really thin, but it's like kind of like a blousey kind of type. Um, it's like definitely sweater material, but I'm saying that since it's so thin, it kind of flows like a blouse. And it's pretty long, and it's really comfortable. I love it. Next over here, I have like a shirt kind of sweater. Um, it is long sleeve. It has just... Um, kind of like a navy kind of dark blue and red on it it's so cute and I just love sweaters like this if you love sweaters because I definitely do so over here I have um this is definitely like a blouse thing it's kind of curled up over here um it is long sleeve but you can like like since it's like this um you could kind of like move it up your arm and it becomes more of a short sleeve so it's a blousey thing it can fold over like this when you open it um it's kind of short in the back and then long over here and then what my favorite thing about it is that the leather that is rimmed like kind of 
sewn around the sweater and then it has the leather on the shoulders and I thought that was just so cute and stylish okay guys so that's all the video so I hope you got some ideas or I mean different colors that you guys like well basically everything was burgundy and plum right but um, I hope you got some ideas of lipsticks and different kind of things and change up your style trust me you know you have to really experiment with different things that's kind of the trick of makeup I'm kind of short so I'm like Okay, so I hope you enjoyed everything, and yeah, comment, subscribe, and like, and tell me, you know, what else you want to see. Tell me if you liked it. I, I want to know. Give me constructive criticism and all that jazz. So, um, I'll leave everything in the description box, everything that I got, and um, the lipsticks too, the names, okay? So, um, thank you for watching, you know, thank you to everybody that subscribed to me, you know, I have it, it's not, I notice you, okay, trust me, I look all the time, I'm always on YouTube, so I look. So, yeah. I'll be posting now, so thank you. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.